Hi everyone and welcome back to Raining Cake. So in today's video I am going to talk through five of my travel essentials, like my my always always go to travel essentials that I always take with me on every single trip and it's always without fail packed in my suitcase or packed in my hand luggage or whatnot. So I thought that it would be nice to share on this channel uh, what they are. I also wrote a blog post about it which went down really well so I thought I'd um, make it into a video as well. So the post title is um, five travel essentials to take on your next trip and again it's going to be the same for this and I'm going to talk you through the same things because I am aware that not everyone that follows me on my blog or on my Instagram follows me or is subscribed to my channel so yes I thought I wanted to make the content again for a video and just talk through it instead of um, if you're more of like a kind of visual uh, person and you prefer to listen to someone talk or see the actual product in demonstration rather than seeing it in a photo and on a blog and then reading so yeah I thought I'd just do a bit of both and see how that goes down. So the first item um, to take um, you know on your travels or in my case on my travels that I always go without or well, always never go without sorry that was the wrong word is my travel document holder so this is an um, a spinel of London travel wallet and I got this about two or three Christmases ago it's got my initials um, on there Dan got this for me for Christmas and I absolutely love it like it just never leaves my side every time I go traveling so the wallet just opens and inside is um, just several compartments and um, sort of it's labeled as to where you want to put your things so you've got your boarding pass your currency tickets passport documents and other um, so at the moment it's pretty empty um, I haven't been on any travels lately I am going in March um, I've got my passport in there at the moment it's just kept safe in there but this is so so handy um, to keep everything in one place and whenever I need to grab something out to show at customs or airports or uh, border security or even when you're shopping so sometimes when you go to countries you can get tax-free shopping um, or in duty-free in general if I need to take my passport out or present my boarding pass everything is just in this travel wallet and I just take it out of my bag there's been so many times that I've seen people sort of scramble in their bags or in their rucksacks for their documents, their passports, um, but it's so handy to just keep it all in one place and this travel wallet does that and I'm not saying that everyone has to have this particular travel wallet, there are loads of travel wallets or document holders out there that you can get, um, but this is just my favourite one and goes everywhere with me. So my second travel essential is adapters. Now these are just a lifesaver wherever you're going there's so many times um that not 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 me in particular but family or friends have forgotten to take an adapter with them and it is just one of those things that is a no-brainer it needs to, you need to carry it with you um this one is a two pin one so for like all the european countries or for the states and it's got a three pin at the front so yeah so that there's that one or there's this one which is pretty handy because you can have it um it's like a universal so um the top part takes out the two pin there um and then you can lock it and the bottom one is the um the three pin so you can if you've got a two pin what or whatever device it is you need to plug it into a two pin into the UK so that's the three pin um, or you could put a three pin and then use the two pin which is this one here as well and you can just lock it and it won't you know be in the way so um, yeah these are so so handy they're about five pounds they're so cheap so um, it's just one of those things that you need to have like it's no-brainer you need to take a travel adapter everywhere you go my third essential is a notebook um, or a travel diary however you want to call it um, sorry my camera just stopped recording it keeps doing that and I'm really annoyed with it at the moment so I need to have a look into that I don't know whether it's the memory card or it's the actual camera but um, I was talking about a travel diary so yeah the travel diary goes everywhere with me whether it's big or small this is my current one um, and it's just to just jot down any notes any um, memories you want to write down your diary like just as in just write 
I use it mostly for blog posts. So if I'm doing a travel blog post, I will take it with me. I will, um, whatever I do on a day, I'll write it down. Um, so it just gives me a bit of a memory in terms of when I'm writing blog posts, I can um, just look at my notes and figure out what I did for that day and sort of add certain things in if I can't think of it when I'm writing the blog post um, off my head. So I always, always have a travel diary uh, or a notebook just to write down anything I need to remember. And I also use it to write my list um, of stuff that I need to pack or stuff that I wanna do. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's very handy to have a travel diary or a, no a general a notebook with you when traveling. The next item is um, a USB. Now this one isn't a particular one I take with me, but it was just for the demonstration purposes um, a USB is always handy to take um, especially if you're taking a laptop because if you're going to be taking a lot of pictures um, whether it's from your phone or um, on your camera it's it's great to just um, record like as in save stuff on your USB so for example you want to put your memory card into your laptop and then save it onto the USB so that keeps it safe um, that way it frees up a lot of memory on your memory card uh, or your phone um, however you capture your images or your videos it's just really handy to carry um, an extra drive or an extra uh, memory holder just to ensure that you keep your um, memories and pictures and videos safe somewhere until you get home and then you can look for it again so i think it's very very uh, important to keep those safe on a usb so I always carry a usb the last travel essential is lavender oil now i go everywhere with lavender oil it's one of those things that um relaxes me keeps me calm um helps me sleep so i mean if you know about lavender you would know that it is an essential oil um it has you know the scent of lavender i mean there's nothing it's just lavender um i have this rollable um rollable lavender oil thing which i uh, put on my my wrist i put it sometimes on my temple um and sometimes I just put it on like clothing or like a travel pillow. I'll just rub some on. Um, it just, it's just so nice to just smell lavender because it just, it just instantly relaxes you and it keeps you, it just keeps you in a calm state, especially if you're a nervous traveler or a nervous flyer, then um, I think lavender is one of those ones that you need to have in your essentials bag. Um, this one was about four pounds, I think from Boots. It's from the Botanics um, range, but you can get lavender oil in any herbal shops in any like um pharmacist or chemist or whatnot um but yeah it is so good for just just it's just that relaxation that if you like to be a bit more calm on your flight um or in a car wherever you're traveling to on a boat then um i highly suggest using lavender oil if obviously you like the scent and are not allergic to it or or whatever so um but i think i just want to say with pregnant ladies i think you have to be a bit careful with lavender um but yeah so that is all of my travel essentials. Those are the five things that I always take with me wherever I go. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. But if you're already subscribed, then I will see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.